we had biblical levels of flooding at North Wilkesboro Speedway on Saturday. Welcome back to Break Hard. My name is Matt. And yes, on Saturday, the NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series race was delayed because of weather. And then it was postponed. Why? Because North Wilkesboro Speedway turned into a literal pond. Christian Eckes is walking out of the water right here. And this is the most cinematic thing I think I've ever seen. And he said, I've had better Saturdays. And I completely agree with him because at some point, somebody needs to build an ark. Call Noah because they need to gather up two of everything in Wilkes County because they're not going to survive this. Somebody resurrect Benny Parsons. Maybe he can part the seas like Moses because this ark needs somewhere to go at this point because these guys are having to push the race trucks out of the flooded water. Elmore went through and checked all the engines in the cars after the rain finally, uh, you know, relented and they could, you know, get out there and look at it. But Marcus Smith apparently did not spend any of that government stimulus money that helped him renovate North Wilkesboro on drainage because it didn't work. They definitely, Kyle Petty says, you know, turn Darlington into a bass fishing pond, just fill it up with water. North Wilkesboro just did that on its own, essentially. Yeah, you run down into turn one. It's literally downhill. And guess what happens with water? Yeah, gravity usually wins and water runs downhill and it all pulled up right there. You had one of Derek Krause's, Crew members apparently swimming in the water, which hopefully he's up to date on his tetanus shots as well as all of his other vaccines because swimming in flood water is not an ideal situation because things like, I don't know, diarrhea and sewage can exist in it. And now this guy's out here bathing around in it like he's Scrooge McDuck. Not exactly the best move in the world. Hilarious, not the best move. Cliff Daniels shared this photo of the of the water and that's the top of the pit wall right there uh that's that's deep i mean christian eck when you saw the video of him he's up knee high in it at that point this was something we have not seen in a long time if ever to this level during the middle of a of a race if we're being completely honest i mean they were moving tires around floating them like they were about to float down the river cabrewing or whatever you call it when you use a tube tubing cabrewing you get you know what i'm talking about these tires, these Goodyear Eagles, just floating along in the water, just bobbing around like they're just these big rubber geese and they have nowhere to go. And that's honestly was the easiest way to move them at that point. Why carry them when you could float them over there? Bizarre, bizarre day at the racetrack at North Wilkesboro. We also had the Stuart Haas racing team. All of their cars were at the track. The team was not at the track. Why? Because their cars weren't racing in the cup heat races on Saturday night, the ones that got canceled. So there was no reason for the teams to be there. Well, unfortunately, the cars were in a flood zone and the team obviously didn't realize it was going to flood and people were attacking the team. This is Stuart Haas racing, not caring. This isn't being cheap, this and that. Why would they have been at the racetrack in the first place? Their cars weren't racing. So why would you send people there to just hang out? No, it doesn't make any sense. So Hendrick Motorsports guys went and pulled the SHR cars out. They went ahead and sealed them off, wrapped them in plastic, uh, you know, to protect the inside of the race car. And that's just good sportsmanship. I like seeing teams help teams, but seeing people attack Stuart Haas Racing over this was a little bit perplexing because this is not what you should be attacking Stuart Haas Racing for. These are guys that were just doing what they were told, and I don't think anybody expected it to biblically flood. And if you can predict a biblical flood like this and a racetrack flooding, by all means, be the next weather guy so you can alert these teams. But I don't think any of those people out there actually exist. This is a freak rainstorm, and it brought torrential downpours. So hopefully everything is okay. Hopefully all the cars are okay. The Truck Series race was postponed and pushed until 11.30 a.m. on Sunday morning. They'll finish that race, and then they'll run the NASCAR All-Star Open at 5 p.m., the All-Star Race at 8 p.m. It is a busy day of racing on Sunday. You have the Formula One race in the morning. You have the Truck Series race at 11.30. You have... Indy 500 qualifying getting started with the fast uh, 12 at three o'clock and then the last row shootout and then the fast six go for pole and then you have the all-star open as well as the all-star race. So get your popcorn ready because it's going to be really interesting and hopefully we don't get another flood like this because honestly, I think in the book of Revelations, that might be the second coming. That might be the rapture if you have two of these right here. And then the American Southeast, I'm not willing to test it. I'm just saying, I don't really want to test that out. But if it does rain, remember to bring your duck boats, your floaties, a snorkel, potentially a wetsuit even. I don't really know what everybody has to their 
uh, that's available to them. But if you have it, bring it because the chances are you might need it if it rains more than, you know, just a little bit in over an hour. And for Christian Eckes, I hope that he was able to dry out his driver's suit and probably just toss those racing shoes in the trash because, yeah, that poor guy, he has had better Saturdays. So... <laughs> Like, let me know what you think about it. Like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.